Independence Day celebrations are over in the United States with millions of people taking part in the festivities. But there are some who think it's time to protest rather than celebrate. A group called Taxed Enough Already, better known as the Tea Party, gathered thousands of members all across America to criticize the current level of government spending. Our tea's Dina Gazowski has more. We are united as Americans defending freedom. Independence Day in the U.S. of A. But these people aren't exactly celebrating America's birthday. Instead, they're speaking out against the very policies that now shape this nation at the Tea Party protest in Washington, D.C. They say no to big government, no to massive spending, and no to increasing taxes. I'm here because basically my country's gone completely crazy. I think that we should find a government that will allow us to revert back to the way we were formed. What we've got to do is we've got to vote out uh, the crooks in Washington from both political parties. Lisa Miller is the organizer of this protest. She says she's sick and tired of a government which she feels is trying to run her life. All the opportunities that would have allowed me to be independent disappear through high taxation, punitive regulation, and uh, government intrusion into my business. Uh, I think everybody's tired of the false choices that this two-party system provides. And as frustrations mount, Tea Party protests all across the nation are sparking interest and gaining momentum. July 4th marks the birth of America. But these folks aren't here to celebrate. Instead, they're protesting big government stimulus bills and taxation without representation. Things that they say are slowly but surely killing their United States. And these Americans aren't too fond of the man in the White House. I don't think the guy's got a clue. I think he's an empty suit. I think he's unqualified to be president of the United States. Go back to Chicago where they came from. Our government is corrupt. It's no longer we the people, it's we the government. Even Superwoman over here can only hope that her outfit will be seen and perhaps her voice heard. I want to leave here knowing that I made a difference and that um, at least that our government will pay attention to our cries. <laughs> And these loud cries are now setting off completely different kinds of fireworks. We're going to take back our country. We're going to fight for it. We will not let them take our country! Woo! Dan Kofsky, RT, Washington, D.C.